All right, so I got a weird story here for you. Omi in a Hellcat. Uh, there's an article I kind of want to go over here quick and then an interview as well. This guy's an absolute idiot. But let's go through this uh, Philadelphia Inquirer article uh, in a minute. Omi in a Hellcat is like a YouTuber. He's a vlogger, it looks like. Uh, I've never actually seen his content before, but he boasts a cool 790k subscribers that is a ton of subscribers he is like like pretty famous like uh, this is enough subscribers that you're going to be making you know a decent amount of uh income from right like this this is enough to pay all the bills you know live a comfortable life absolutely Omi was charged with 62 count indictment charges and copyright violations tax evasion and fraud that could send them to prison for decades this is his interview with fox news so he's all smiling and happy what's going on so uh sorry I'm gonna yeah you want to put that down yeah, yeah. so tell me what happened yesterday look at all the cars in the back as well you can see here 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 He's got a bike here to the left of this a little bit. He's got like a nice SUV. And then on the right of him, he's got a bunch of other um, SUVs as yeah, well. The, the FBI came in for the first time. You know, the first time you guys came here, everybody said that it was bull crap. Right. So just tell me what happened. Nothing. They just came in. They just, they, they ran straight up to the ring and they put a blue tape on the ring. So we can see, but obviously there's about 30 cameras around the whole premises. So they came What does that have to do with anything? The things that they alleged that I did. Cop, the copyright infringement which you know i don't think i ever did anything wrong obviously he was running a streaming service allegedly that was ripping off movies like the walking dead uh game of thrones uh, a couple others as well so he's basically according to what i was reading what i saw he was just stealing the shows and then reselling the subscription kind of like netflix if they stole all their shows i was running businesses wide open in, in the public so now we just got to see we have, we're going to have our day in court now. So finally, you know, I get to not be depressed, not be stressed out anymore. Now I get my day in court. Was this, was this arrest a relief for you? It was 100% a relief because I didn't Apparently know he's talked about this case and this issues uh, on his channel quite a bit as well. But I didn't see anything about that. So I'm not going to go dig through all of his content to see. But apparently this has been going on for a couple years. What was, you know, what was going on for two years? No answers. There you nothing. go, two years. You know, depressed. You know, a lot of depression comes behind this. They don't know, man. When when they do things like this, they take people's livelihoods. You know, so this is sort of a big relief for me. Livelihoods. Uh, you look like you're doing pretty good. <laughs> oh, and look, they said that everything that I've done was criminally, and back again, we're back to flourishing again with other businesses. This is. You know, <laughs> this this it's where it starts to get on to the the dry snitching on his on his partners, and also he starts to tell on himself basically. Right. You know, here pretty soon. I just feel like, you know, I found a loophole. I ran through it and I did great. You know, there's other colleagues of mine that are in the same business that I was in. You idiot. got in trouble with the FBI. They're right now, you know, they're getting sued by direct TV. <laughs> and the FBI never had any interest in them. And, you know, that's my question to them. Like, how can my colleagues get to run off of two, three hundred million? And I was the only one targeted out of it. Maybe it's because, you know, we were probably driving down to 95. And, um, Dude. They looked over imagine you. going right you're in jail you get out of jail the news shows up the next day right and you're like yeah my colleagues were committing crimes they're getting sued the fbi blah 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 like you dumb idiot how are you that dumb like whatever you know what he's committing crimes first of all or allegedly committing crimes first of all evading taxes allegedly for right second of all third of all uh, this guy obviously is doing extremely well off the backs of people who have already put in the work. So, I mean, whatever, man. Snitch on yourself. But how dumb, dude. You'd think you'd have a lawyer. You got millions of dollars, a big house, uh, lots of cars. You'd think. You know, they make 70 grand a year. Who is this <laughs> fat guy driving a Lambo? You Jeez. said two things in a video. Mm -hmm. You said you're prepared to go to jail. Is that still the case? If, 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 if. Uh, the jurors could find that I didn't. If 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 I if, believe, if, I, if, I if counsel in this matter, and I actually sat in one of my divorce proceedings, and I sat there and told my lawyer, who cares about your divorce? Wrong, because if I am, I'll quit down. 
He looked at me in my face in front of my ex-wife and said, Omar, what you're doing is not illegal. So in my heart, what I felt that I was doing was illegal. No, you know, I, Jesus. Wide open. I, I've never hit anything that I've ever done. You know, and that's true. Apparently, it's all documented Second, according to this article I was reading. You, you always make money. Uh, what's next for you? Um, opening the biggest brand in the world right now, you know. And we're doing fantastic. We Shout out. I'm going to mute that. Group of people who follow <laughs> us, you know, and I've always been an advocate of positivity. You know, I've never, you, you'll never see me advocating anything other than positivity. So, you know, what happens is supposed to happen. And, you know, God bless everyone. So just to be crystal clear, the God damn. That came down today, you're saying you're completely innocent of those. Um, not completely innocent would be a, a, a false statement. Now, ignorance is no excuse for the law. You know, um, I, I try to go back. <laughs> Just lie, dude. Just lie. That's all it would take. This guy loves the camera so much. This guy loves to be the attention so much that it's going to put him in jail. Back and forth with a few accountants. And, you know, oh. I found that when they were trying to, like, you know, file my taxes, they were filing them wrong. <laughs> you know, should I have done a little faster? Of course, a hundred percent. But plead the fifth, God, my God, man. Blatantly just oh, ran away from the law and, and just to, so and dumb. Money, none of that stuff I've ever done. You know, but ignorance is no excuse uh, for the law. You know, so you just you uh, on, those, on those things a lot. What faster, an idiot! At the end of the day, what I think, what I've done, I never did anything wrong. Finally, what do you want to say to all your hundreds of thousands of followers? All right, so that's it for this video. Just dry snitched on himself, his buddies, and everybody else on the news for hundreds of thousands of people to see. And honestly, after all of this has not even had an effect on his channel from what I can see. Like his video uh, one week ago still hit quarter million views. This one before that 120k, 429, 28k, sorry. Uh, this video is right here. It's talking about the FBI. Uh, it's back two months ago. Uh, and I checked his social blade as well, and he's still gaining subs, weekly average of a, about a thousand subs, 4k subs a month overall, and still gaining just over half a million views a month. Nobody cares. Nobody's worried about that at all. It's just absolutely insane. And this guy just straight up snitched on all his people. Omi's lawyer also likened him to people like Mark Zuckerberg or Steve Jobs as being like innovative and that there was no laws prohibiting what he was doing at the time. But even if that's the case, right? Like if you're doing something and then new laws or regulations show up after, you would, I would assume at least you would have to change what you're doing, stop what you're doing, or, you know, figure out how to legalize it again, because the new regulations would be the law, right? That's like saying, oh, you know, like, murder is not illegal and then you're like murdering people and stuff and then it becomes illegal you're not gonna not be charged for murdering people after the laws changed so i'm not really sure how that's gonna work maybe the charges will be lessened but obviously this guy's sitting here snitching on his people so he's obviously committed at least some sort of crimes so in my opinion it looks pretty fishy but due process and if you're being arrested by the fbi they're pretty much going to have a slam dunk on you so i mean this is going to be a fight between the state and his lawyers and i guess we'll see what happens but i reckon he hits jail and if we continue down at this philadelphia uh inquirer article which i will link below because you know i'm reading off you know some of the stuff that they've talked about as well as like you know going through here but he says uh in 2019 he hit a gray area and exploited it similar to what he was saying in the interview he said they just didn't like it so he uh he says i made a ton of money and i'm only guilty of making money i ain't guilty of nothing else right so he says he's legally paid for subscriptions to all the cable services whose content he is accused of sharing he likens what he did to inviting friends who don't have cable over and taking up a collection to pay for a pay-per-view event. But come on, dude. That's literally not what it is. You're selling this stuff to 30,000 plus people who are paying you monthly where you take it from somebody else. Just because you pay for the subscription doesn't mean that you have the rights to sell or reproduce that content, right? Uh, prosecutors push back. I think that the men weren't charged with sharing the copyrighted content, but rather reproducing it for online use without permission for their 30,000 subs. 
The judge declined to dismiss the case. The next test of their argument will come when the case goes before a jury next year. So that's coming off this article. And yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're stealing, if you're, you know, if you're committing crimes, dude, it's bound to happen, right? Things like fair use and stuff, right? I am definitely one to use fair use as an example, right? Like this video right here is fair use. I'm talking over content that's out there and stuff. It's yeah, it's kind of a legal loophole. It's a defense, or whatever. You go to court, you'd be like, oh, look, it's fair use because I transformed it and whatever. But this is just blatant theft, right? You're just stealing the content, repurposing it, making millions of dollars. Of course, people are going to be pissed off. And then, like you were saying, oh, me in your interview, you're like, oh, you know, why aren't they going after my associates? Maybe because your associates aren't the face of a massive YouTube brand, you dumb, dumb idiot but that's the it for this video on this side there should be videos on this side my channels should pop up hover over those little circles click subscribe on both turn notifications on for both watch one of these videos probably or something i appreciate you if you want to join the memberships it's down here i would definitely appreciate it as i actually reset my memberships the prices start a little higher than before and end a little higher than before but it's kind of more even now so i definitely appreciate it and we'll catch you on the next one my guys okay daily content on the gaming channel by the way